There we are. That's our new one to play with. This is exactly the same car, pretty much, except for the interior, as Tom. And we do for Tom's compact. Um, in fact, this is such, such a similar car that there's only one chassis number different. This was actually the car built sequentially in front of his at the production facility. So I don't know exactly where these were built, but this chassis number, except for the ones that spec the interior in bits, is only one different. And I've got the key somewhere. We can see if we can get inside and have a look. There we are. Oh, it actually works on the central locking as well. Should do. There we are. Central locking works. Right, so there we are. Uh, a little bit of staining on the seat for some watermarks there. I'm sure we can clean those out. It's seen its age. It is an old beast. It has... Eighty-one thousand. You see those in there? Eighty-one thousand genuine miles on it. Um, it's got a list as long as your arm to do for the MOT, including some chassis work, some welding, some various bits. This door card squeaks. Needs to be sorted out. There is a ding in the door. There, as you can see, that needs to be sorted out, sprayed up. Needs a general tidy up and a clean. I'll have to ignore that for a minute. But there you go. So this is our next resto project, I think. A slight resto mod, maybe. We'll see what the budget is and see what we can do with it. But we need to flip this one for some money. Very clean inside, been looked after. Only had a couple of owners that have caused it problems. One thing I have noticed, which is quite unusual in these cars, is if you look at the headlight, it's got a massive great crack in it and there's a piece of glass in behind there where it's shattered off the inside of it. And uh, the guy we bought it off did say that it's a, quite a hell of a knock to do that it was. Um, so that's the new one we've got. Like I say, sequentially numbered the one before we did for Tom. So that's that one, so it couldn't get any closer. Just a little update on this one, this is the 325TD that I'm building. Um, it's going through stage two of an exhaust prototype. I didn't like the big single exit exhaust, I'm going for a twin exit to try and keep it in with the rest of the straight six engines uh, so that uh, so that it all sorts out you know it all looks nice together all the twin exit exhaust pipes match that's gonna have two that's got a moment it's got a, a twin two inch let's see if i can show you i've only got a few minutes before i've got to go and run for a train uh, let's see if we can't get underneath this thing can you see there there you go. Twin exit exhaust. I know that's a bit of a bodge up there, I don't really care, I was messing around cutting pipe and playing. But down here, uh, you can see again more here. All the way underneath. So we've got no rear resonate, no rear box, just a straight pipe, pretty much all the way back out from that one. Um, as you can see, this one's usual junkyard crap full of bits of interior and crap and everything else and stuff from the boot that needs to go back in this was stripped to get to the actuator so I can fix a mate's car and never put the interior back in it's the wrong actuator as well so that's got to be sorted out and of course there's the usual fermenting vegetation over there as well but so yeah for the moment I have to leave it at that we're going to run a train we want to catch a train and uh I'm going to get the rest of the stuff I need to done. But, yeah, that is the next project car and a small update on, uh, on the 325. So I'll catch you guys later on.